you know, for both of you guys. Uh, obviously a rough time in Maui. How do you keep your heads up and so forth coming back? Now you've got to play another top 25 team. Um, you know, just just staying positive and just knowing that we got a lot of season left, you know, focusing on that, you know, it's, it's still really early and, you know, we can change it around. And, um, you know, Maryland's a good team and it'll be an, another opportunity um, to turn the page. Yeah, I think, like he said, it's, it's still early in the season. Uh, just staying positive and knowing that how hard we work, we're going to be good and uh, we got a good opponent we're about to face and just keep the positive, this energy and everything we do. As you guys look at yourself and self-assess self yourself as a team, what are the one or two things that you think if you could improve upon, it would it would make a big difference? Uh, well, recently, uh, we've been working on our passing more. Like I feel like, like Coach says, one thing he highlights is how if you want to be a good team, you got to be a good passing team. So that's one big thing we focus on right now. And secondly, uh, defense. We're really working on defense. We need to be a defensive stopping team. Just to get up into people and pressure the ball? Or yeah, just everything in general, just being in gaps and pressuring the ball, just being a major defense presence. Yeah, I have to agree. Um, you know, applying more pressure on the defensive end, um, being the enforcer, um, working on defense. And, you know, as he said, we've been working on passing and, you know, spacing is key on, on our offense. And when we're too close or someone didn't cut, like it, it'll affect and make us not look good or the execution. And I feel like that's a big thing we, we've been working on and continue to work on. You guys talked about the, the passing. You guys have had a lot of turnovers so far. What do you see as maybe like a common threat or issue that's led you turning the ball over uh, as much as y'all have? Oh, well, like JJ said earlier, our turnovers mostly come from our spacing and just pretty much just communicating like on offense. Like, uh, <coughs> This is like everybody's going to turn the ball over no matter what. So, like, we know we're not going to be perfect. But it's just one thing we can work on is our spacing and just, just different reads that we go through. Hersey, Kenny's talked about and has had you on the floor a little bit more lately with L, getting him off the ball a little bit. How do, how do you feel like that's going? How do you feel like you guys play together? Well, I feel like me and L playing together, uh, we, work, we work well together. Uh, it's something that... Like you said, Kenny has been coached, been doing a lot often. Uh, even in practice, we work together and try to just build our connection with each other. And I feel like me and L together is a pretty good duo. It's for both of you guys. You guys mentioned just the importance of staying positive. How do you guys stay positive? And is, is there maybe one guy on the team who is keeping everyone's spirits up? Um, you know, it's hard because everybody, the whole world is paying attention and you know, there's a lot of outside sources and, you know, a lot of negativity out there. But, you know, we're a family and it's, it's us. And knowing that and just staying within us and just continuing to work, work on the court and off the court and, you know, keep those good relationships you have, like, tight, you know, it helps you. And listening to what other people have to say, positive positive things, it helps us like stay positive. Yeah, I think like like JJ said, we're a family. So all of us just try to keep our heads up no matter what. And we're all we're all people who follow fate. So with us we just try to see the positive and negative things. So even with us having the record we have right now, we know that we still have a lot more games ahead of us and just everyone really stays on a level minded head. Like they keep their head on the straight path. Like everyone's not getting down themselves not letting outside noise affect who they are. So just honestly, just us staying strong and just knowing that we have a long way to go is keeping us all positive. So. Uh, for you guys, Coach Payne's offense certainly has some guidelines, but there's a lot of read and react and movement. Is that more difficult than running a structured play number two, play number three, whatever? Is learning to do it that way as opposed to having a strict play more difficult than running plays? I don't think it's more difficult. I think it just takes time. Like, we're all young and we're all not used to it. But what we do in practice, like you said, like we don't really run too much structure X's and O's, but eventually we're going to get it and it's going to click. And I feel like it's, it's kind of easier than just running X and O's. Yeah, I have to agree. He, it's more just free, free basketball, you know, just reading and reacting, just going out there and hooping, you know. And 
we do we do have a lot of X and O plays as well, but you know we have to make smarter decisions out there on the court, and that's just something we've been working on. Yeah, and that's one thing too. He also teaches us how like we got to be coaches ourselves on the court. So it's like even if we're running X and O's, like we got to be able to see different reads. Like if someone's pressing up, we got to be able to back door. So he just, I guess he's teaching us more of like you said, being able to read different reads. Um, from my view, I guess there have been a number of games when it's been close for 20, 25 minutes, and then something bad happens, and then it multiplies real quickly, and the, and the game kind of gets away from you. Is that the way you guys have seen it? And, and when those bad stretches come, what can you do to sort of stop them from getting out of control? Yeah, now that has been something that's been affecting us on the court. Uh, we've been working on it. It's like game situations like that. we got to be able to maintain the lead or even just – keep a level head. Like, even if they get a breakaway dunk or we get a turnover, we got to be able to bounce back and get a steal and put us back in a spot to where we can stay solid. So that's what we've been working on recently in practice and everything. But that's been the focus for us right now. Yeah, teams teams are going to go on runs, and, you know, we just got to work on sustaining them and not, like, overreacting and, you know, being too aggressive and then making a mistake and just keeping to what we know and, you know, sticking with that and sticking to our game plan and and those runs just stop. Sid was a big part of this team last year, especially you know down the stretch. He was putting up big numbers, and this year, for whatever reason, it just hadn't clicked for him yet. What can you guys do to to get him going? Um, I would say just keep uplifting him. Um, you know, we all go through uh, struggles, but Sid's a good player, and I know he'll get through it. And you know, I have faith in them and confidence in them. Yeah, and that's the thing too. It's like with anyone, like people will have their ups and downs, but it's like, like you said, we got a family that backing him up. Like we're all gonna uplift him and help him just get better. And it just comes time to where it's like, you have your downs and you have your, your highs, so.